I always think about that women from the 1940s and 50s would like laugh at us today because like they'd be like, oh, you left because you weren't happy. My man had a whole family across town and I stayed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that used to happen. Like families would meet at funerals. And even, um, you know, I have some relatives that like kind of, you know, stayed together through cheating and like all this stuff. But like nowadays, like girls will just leave because they're not happy. Mm. Which is which is crazy, yeah. especially when you have kids. It's not about you. It's so crazy, yeah. and that's why I don't think men have any incentive anymore to get married. Mm-hmm. Like, because in- initially men would marry for sex mm-hmm. because women want a commitment. So, and women they wouldn't give sex unless there was mm-hmm. a commitment, and then they want someone that can cook and clean and maintain a home that's good with children. And a lot of women don't want children. Um, and they they wanted purity, mm-hmm. like they wanted a virgin, and women aren't virgins anymore. The truth about men's reluctance to marry. Now, in today's episode of Love Factual, we're delving into a matter that affects us all. The state of modern relationships from a male perspective, it's not just about heartbreak and romance, it's about real issues that are causing a significant number of men to reconsider entering relationships. As time is going on, more and more guys are realizing that marriage simply is not worth it, and they're avoiding it like the plague. And it's definitely scaring the crap out of a lot of the young gals out there that want to get married one day. And men are doing it primarily for three reasons of what I've discovered. Number one, they realize the deck is stacked against them in the family courts. They get raked over the coals and it is definitely not in their favor. Number two, they see how unhappy a lot of the men they know in their families are, long marriages that end in bad divorces, and they don't want to go through that. And number three, they see the free spirit behavior and attitudes of today's young gals, which all came about thanks to the Ephesus movement, and realize that is not wife material. That's why I don't want to marry, raise my kids, etc. And essentially, until those three things change, it's only going to have higher numbers of more guys avoiding marriage and, in fact, avoiding relationships altogether. Hey, everybody, listen, thanks for being right here with me, Love Factual Family. Welcome back to the channel where we delve into all things love, relationships, and everything in between. Today, we have a thought-provoking topic that's been making waves recently. Why are 80% of men having doubts about entering relationships and marriage? So I want you to stick around because we're about to uncover some eye-opening insights that might just change your perspective. Does that make sense for you as far as like why divorce is inherently more risky for men? I just feel like you're saying because women tend to be the person who initiates a divorce, correct? Yes. That's why it's riskier for men. But why do women tend to end divorces? There's and right. with successful men that have money, they cheat. She said it earlier. They do all these things that women don't want to put up earlier. with. It's so why yeah change from day to day yeah time so time. i could have been in love with the person at the moment but if that person <laughs> is no longer treating me well just because we're married i have to say no that's the point he can't be a good husband so as a man that's all i'm asking if i marry you and yeah. you decide you know what he's not the guy i thought he was anymore i'm leaving you take half my stuff and maybe so you is there no oh, risk so? without reward <laughs> oh so what's, oh, you so, married me right no no so once again this is why you men wanted to marry don't me don't want to get married thought you loved me enough that it would be worth it to you to okay. marry me no. and so, take the quick, risk hold on, stop the show you just basically admitted it with your own words <laughs> why guys don't get married I'm first of all everybody we've got to understand a man's perspective on why he's reluctant to get into relationships and even marry. Let's kick things off by understanding why a significant number of men are reluctant to pursue relationships in the first place. Now let me say this, one major factor is the perceived bias in family court systems. As we see that when men when men go to court, when women take them to court for child support and divorce, so it seems as if the court sides with the women more times than not. And men consider those things and say, you know what, if, if I got to go through this, I might as well not get involved in a relationship or even marry because this is what's going on. So it seems to be a bias in family court. The system is messed up. You know, high divorce rates and 
has a great impact on men. Let me tell you the fundamental thing. The type of man that you want has options. He can choose Israel, India, Egypt. Can I say I wouldn't want a man who didn't choose me? The challenge is what you are bringing to the table, what you want, the other girls are not going to fight him for. You want him to support and join your team as well. These other two girls, India and Egypt say, I will just join this team. I'm not trying to do all those. They have the advantage over you. You are combative. Mm -hmm. You are combative. Oh, when, when talking to you, we're going to have to argue. With those girls, you don't have to argue. So the challenge is going to be, why would he choose but them wouldn't, over wouldn't you? Wouldn't a man get bored by oh. a woman who doesn't have any opinion or That's, care at all? That, okay. And so the unfortunate reality is that is not true. And if you keep on viewing men, the men view women the way you view men, you will keep on experiencing the same negative results over and over again. No, to answer your question, no, they will not get bored. It's actually peaceful. And many a time I see that divorce cases have been criticized and rightly so. Like I said it before, because the judges seem to side with the women. There's a bias against men. As far as I can tell you, you know, this perception is fueled by Cases where men feel they have lost their assets, their children, their homes, their emotional well-being, and everything else that goes along with that. So, hey, I can't blame men if they decide, let me stay out of this kind of situation right here because it's no good for anyone, especially me. All right, number two, let me say this. The impact of high divorce rates. Divorce rates are shooting through the roof. Why? Why are people not staying married? Why are people not staying together? Why are marriages not working? Well, I've told you time and time again, it's because of the modern mentality of the modern women in the West. Okay, nobody can tell them what to do. They don't want to listen. They don't want to cooperate with their man. They don't want to submit to anyone, especially especially their husbands. So what do you expect? We can't have two bosses in the house. Somebody has to lead and somebody has to follow. The unfortunate thing is that a lot of women want to be the leader in the home. But my Bible tells me that the man is the head of the home. So then who's supposed to be the leader? He should be, even if he makes more money than her. Those are some of the problems that we're having. You know, uh, you know, when we delve deeper into the impact of high divorce rates on men's willingness to to commit. This is some of the things that we have to deal with. Okay. Um, there's another concern that's plaguing men when we see the statistics showing divorce rates soaring about 50%. It naturally makes them question the longevity of relationships. That's just one of the things. Divorce rates, you know, it's like, why marry? Some people say, why get a piece of paper? Here's another thing. When you look at social media and societal influence, it does affect relationship decisions because when you see all this stuff going on, um, whether it's on Facebook, on, 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 uh, YouTube and wherever, Instagram and the like, many men said, man, I don't want to deal with this, you know, and even out there in society, you realize that it's no bed of roses out there. This stuff is hard. Men cannot approach women like they used to. And just relationships are just not working out because women, I, I hate to say, but a lot of women are looking for that bag. They're looking for uh, a, a man to be a cash cow. Okay. He has got to be the bank. He has got to have the money. Okay. He has to bankroll her here. He has to take her out to dinner. He has to pay for this. He has to pay her rent. And this starts even before they're married. So why in the world would I marry a woman or why in the world would I go with a woman that wants me to act like as if I'm her husband and I'm not? No. See, so men are sick and tired of this type of mentality here in the West. And this is why men are going elsewhere looking for women that have a bit more common sense, a bit more poise, a bit more ladylike, if you got to put it that way. That's what it is. Relationships in America are not looking good. And again, the divorce rate certainly impacts that a whole lot. We see so many people in Hollywood, you know, Jeezy uh, uh, recently, okay, divorcing Jenny Mai, and so many other people. There we go. It's just, it's just, it's just, they're not, it's not working. 
It's not working because people are not willing to change their mentality. When Kevin Samuels will talk about that stuff, they call him a misogynist. They call him every name in the book. But he was absolutely right about this stuff. And see, we're going full circle and his points are being made just in the social media. Just looking at what's happening, we are seeing that what he was saying is absolutely true. So media often encourages uh, exploring extramarital avenues and walking out on spouses. We can further strain relationships because of what you see on the screen. So let's explore how these influences impact men's decisions. Here's another thing that we got going on. Paternity disputes and controversial paternity tests. That's another thing that we've got to talk about because too many times men are taken into court for child support when the child is not even theirs to prove that the woman has been sleeping around. It's unfortunate that 30% of husbands who kind of suspect that their wives are cheating, 99% of the time they're right. Only 1% of the time they, they might be wrong. But a lot of times they're right. Something ain't right. When, when if, it, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, sounds like a duck, looks like a duck, it's a duck. It's just that simple. So this is a thorny issue. Paternity disputes. Men paying for children that do not belong to them. They are not their biological seed. So some men find themselves legally responsible for children that are not theirs. What in the world is going on in the courts? This is not right. So these things are controversial. These things are discussions that men look at. And then I hear that some states refuse to accept um, a paternity test in that situation, saying that the man has a legal right to take care of that child. This is serious. These things are controversial at best, and it, these things that should not be allowed to happen. But that's what's going on. And this certainly affects men both emotionally and financially. And if a man was in a marital situation before, gets divorced and come out, he is twice as likely not to even consider going back in there. I know many men who have gotten divorced and decided they're not going to get married again. This thing takes off emotional and financial toll on men. This can be very devastating. A lot of people don't realize how devastating a divorce is on most men. Just look around. Real life stories. There are many men who are struggling emotionally after divorce. There are many men who even consider taking their life. Divorce is not an easy thing for men. A lot of men have to go find a counselor after divorce. Divorce is emotionally taxing for both parties, I know. But I believe that men experiences are sometimes overlooked because they think we're macho and strong and they don't realize how many men really struggle with staying afloat mentally after a divorce. We look at things like depression and like I said, thoughts of ending it all and longing to be with their children, especially when the divorce separates the man from his children. It's a very difficult thing. Let me say this, as contrary to the way that women tend to discuss divorce and their feelings afterwards, it's not easy for a lot of times for men to talk. It's not easy for men to, men to talk. So let's switch gears for a minute and examine how women tend to uh, uh, post after divorce. They often express feelings of liberation and financial reward. Well, huh, it's not always like that. But this contrast do exist. Societal factors play a role in how women perceive divorce. We'll delve into why some women feel empowered while others struggle after ending a marriage. Because one of the things is that women think that, oh, you know, hey, you know, it, 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 the game is good out there now. But a lot of times after they get married, they realize it's no fun out there. It's easier for a man 
to find another woman. It's not always that easy for a woman to find another man, especially when they're getting up in age. And so we have to call for equality in family courts, okay? The man needs to be treated as equal when it comes on to that type of situation. And so we have to advocate for equality. Because it's time that these issues be addressed. And then we need to encourage men to consider committed relationships again. It's not going to be easy because there's a crucial need to advocate for equality in these family court systems. Because the system is broken as far as I'm concerned. So somehow we got to figure out how to uh, bring about uh, change. Another thing is that the quality of women that are out there is just not the same. You know, men are not getting what they want. Men are not getting what they look what they're looking for. It's just not it's just not inspiring anymore. And let me let me let me get to the end. But this is why many men leave the United States and go elsewhere, looking for a different type of woman, praying that he'll find one that is submissive and cooperate with him and able to work together. You know, to build a uh, uh, a team, not a partnership, but a team. This is a team building effort. Now we've explored uh, why men are hesitant to commit, you know, the impact of bias in family systems, high divorce rates and paternity disputes. Well, listen, we want to hear your thoughts. Leave your, your comment in the comment section and share your perspectives on this matter don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already done so and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode of love factual remember love is a journey filled with challenges but understanding and empathy can light the way thank you for joining us right here today on love factual stay tuned for more thought-provoking content and until next time, keep spreading love and understanding in your relationships. Take care and God bless you.